Hello, hello everybody. This is Moni with Flowers by the Bunch. Um, today I am putting together two matching arrangements which really don't have to be identical, thank heavens, because that's never easy to me. Um, but these are two all the way around arrangements made to set on top of barrels. So they're going to be for Anna's wedding this weekend and she asked um, us to make two arrangements um, to sit on top of barrels as you enter into the, um, the church. So we're going to work on those. I have taken, these are just plastic containers. They're actually food saver containers. We find that they hold a lot of water and they're sturdy. With this arrangement, you're not going to see the container. So I hated to put too much money into the container itself. It's sturdy enough that it's going to hold the arrangement without any problem and it's got a good enough reservoir that it holds plenty of water. I've placed two blocks of fresh floral foam into the container and I have taped it in very well. Now I've done that with both of the containers um, and I thought that we would just work together and make this arrangement. I like to start out with greenery. Um, so I am going to start with Agonis first. So these arrangements are going to have pompous grass plumes. And so let's start by adding our pompous grass plumes in place. And then, um, then we will go with our greenery because then we'll know exactly where they need to go. So I'm gonna take my floral knife, I'm gonna cut my stem, and I'm going to place my plumes right into my arrangement. Now when I make two arrangements, I like to make them side by side and go ahead and um, make them exactly the same. Now, of course, these arrangements really don't have to be exactly the same. They just, they just need to somewhat match. And they will, I have got, um, I have counted out all my flowers. And so I have two different buckets of flowers. And I think I left one in the other room. Hey, Owen. Okay, so there's my plumes of pompous grass. I'm gonna push one a little over. Next, I'm gonna come in with some pretty greenery. So this is Adonis greenery, and I am just going to go all the way around in this container with some greenery. Now, this container is going to sit on top of that barrel, so I want it to almost look like you don't, I don't want you to see the container at all. So that's why I'm gonna do a lot of placing this greenery real low so it kind of hangs over. I love a goddess. I love the color, but I love the feather um, effect that it gives to such a pretty foliage. Okay, there's the Adonis for one. Now I'm gonna take some more and put it over in the second arrangement. Now the wonderful part about these arrangements is they're not going to be at the front of the church. So when you're sitting there during the ceremony, you don't have to stare at these arrangements. Um, it's not like a church service where you have two arrangements and maybe this is just me because I'm a florist, but I'm going, oh, they didn't get that one in the right place or oh, that one's not the right place talking about the flowers. With these, they're going to be at the entry of the, um, of the chapel and so it's not as if someone's going to really um, be comparing one to the other which to me is always nice because that makes me so nervous it just worries me and I know that's silly but I guess in floral design my least favorite thing to do is do matching side pieces <laughs> All right, so there is the greenery, the agonis in both of those containers. Next, I'm gonna come in 
with some really pretty holly fern. So this is actually fern, but it reminds you a whole lot of holly. So it looks like little holly branches, but it's fern and it doesn't bite. It's wonderful stuff. Um, the best part is that it doesn't bite you. Holly has thorns and this holly fern does not. So I'm gonna take some of this holly fern and I'm taking it and cutting it at an angle and just tucking it right into this arrangement. I'm gonna turn this arrangement around so that I can get the greenery in the back side pretty. Hey Owen, I left the other bucket of flowers in there. Could you bring those in here for me? All right, so there's our holly fern. And let's place some holly fern in our second arrangement. Anytime I make um, multiples of something, I like to try to just go ahead and make them all together. I find that that go, it seems like it goes faster that way. Um, I have to make six bridesmaids bouquets. So I'm gonna go ahead and count out all of the flowers and have those in vases and ready for me to just go ahead and um, make all those arrangements at the same time. And if you go ahead and have your flowers counted out, then you don't have to think about it. You don't have to think about, okay, well this one, how many of this did I put in there? How many of that did I put in there? Um, I just go ahead and prep my buckets, and so I have the same amount of flowers in each bucket. Okay, so here's our greenery. I do have seeded eucalyptus that we, we, that we will add at the end. But there is our agonis, our holly fern, and our pompous grass plumes. Next, I'm going to start with my hydrangeas. Now, the one thing that I don't like about fern is it's messy. And so I'm going to wipe my hands on my pants. Um, here is our quick dip for our hydrangeas. So quick dip is a hydrating solution that I like to use because it helps to keep hydrangeas firm. Um, I'm gonna take my hydrangea blooms and I am going to remove all of the foliage. I'm gonna carefully fluff that bloom. Cut that stem at an angle, and one of those blooms broke, but that's okay. I'm just gonna pull that right off. And I have five blooms for each arrangement. And when I go to dip it in that quick dip, I usually just count to seven. and it just helps keep them hydrated. All right, so here's our last hydrangea. And that one has a, a petal that doesn't look pretty, so I'm just pinching that right out. Okay, so there's our last hydrangea. So next, what we're going to do is stock. Let's use this um, dusty rose stock or mauve colored stock. Um, so I have five stems. I have six stems. Seven stems. <laughs> we'll figure it out. So I'm just going to take my stock and I'm just taking that stem, cutting it at an angle and sticking it right down into that foam. I'm gonna turn my arrangement. Stock smells so pretty and comes in so many great colors. Um, I'll be honest, this variety has been one of my favorite. Um, not so much the color, I like the color, 
but it's not so much the color as it's just really hardy. It's probably the hardiest stock I've seen in a long time. So there's our stock in this arrangement. And next we'll step over and we'll do our second arrangement. Now the reason I like a knife so much is for this exact reason. You don't have to put your flowers down. I can hold them all in my hand and cut them as I go, which I really like that about a knife. Okay, next let's go in with some terracotta colored daisies. So these are a cushion mum. Just a really pretty terracotta color, kind of a, a peachy color. The wonderful part about these mums is they kind of have a little bit underneath of that mauve color. So they just blend really, really well. So I'm going to take those. Now a cushion daisy is a little bit different than a standard daisy. A cushion daisy is, doesn't have the center. Like a standard daisy has like a little yellow or green center. And a cushion daisy just has all petals. Now as I um, place those, I am just randomly placing them in the arrangement, making sure I have this color all the way through. And I really did that with each flower, except my pompous grass plumes. I knew I wanted those for the height. And so, but for all of the other flowers, I am just randomly placing them throughout the arrangement to give us this color all the way through. Okay, so there's our um, terracotta colored cushions. And we'll use those same types of mums and we'll put them in this arrangement. But you see how if I had only done one arrangement, then I would have had to really study that arrangement to make this arrangement. Um, if I had done it all on its own. When I do them both together, I kind of have an idea of what I did there to pull it over here. All right, so there are our cushion mums. Next, we will come in with some, um, some button mums. These are just a pretty maroon button. I love a button mum, and if you look at it really closely, you'll see that it, it resembles just a little button. Um, and this color is so deep and pretty. So I'm just going to do exactly like I did with my cushions. I am going to cut them at an angle and place them into the arrangement. Just making sure I get this color all the way through. Had them all tangled. Okay. All right. So there are our maroon buttons. Next, we're going to come in with hypericum berries. So hypericum berries come in lots of colors. Um, and these are a pretty maroon colored hypericum berry. Um, when I tell you they come in lots of colors, um, pinks and peach and red, like Christmas red and green and white. Um, they're also called, instead of hypericum berries, they're also called coffee berries. Here at our shop, we've always just called them hypericum. And again, I am just placing them randomly into the arrangement. I'm struggling with that knife for some reason, not wanting to cut. It's a little bit of a woody stem. And so it's not always as easy to cut as some of the other flowers. 
All right, so there are our berries. Let's come in with some white lisianthus. So lisianthus is some of my favorite um, flowers. I like a lot. I mean, I have lots of favorites, but I love these sweet little buds of Lizzie. Um, and they're just, it's just pretty. And they're kind of delicate. They almost remind me a little of a butterfly, um, but just so pretty and sweet. So again, I'm just taking, what's nice about Lizzie is that's one stem, one stem. So I'm gonna take it and cut it and make it two. And it goes a pretty long way. Now, it depends on the time of year when you get your Lizzie. It doesn't always come in this pretty, um, but it's really pretty right now. This is some of the prettiest we've had in a long time. Now, Lisianthus comes in other colors besides white. It comes in purple, a royal purple. It comes in a lavender, a really pretty lavender. It comes in a pink. It comes in a variegated. It's a white with pink tips that's real pretty. It comes in kind of a buttery color, a yellowy. Um, but it's just a, a really pretty delicate flower. And it's kind of, it reminds me kind of as a fancy flower. I don't know why. That seems silly, but. I was telling everybody yesterday that we have on the Facebook Live, um, we had two cats that we had adopted from the Humane Society. Um, they were girls. They were both long-haired calicos. They were beautiful. Um, they actually went to live with Callie, um, but we named them Lizzie Anthus, and we called her Lizzie. Um, and then we named her sister Liatris, and we called her Leah. So we had Lizzie and Leah. Um, anytime I ever get animals for the flower shop, I like to um, name them flower names, if at all possible. We have um, a sweet little stray who, who is hanging around. And so we've named him, which is, when I say this, y'all are going to go, oh, that's a terrible name. It's the flower Scabiosa, and we call him Osa. Um, and so, and he is a beautiful gray kitty. He's beautiful. Um, and I'm just waiting on the day that he allows me to put my hands on him. He's very timid, um, but he he's slowly but surely coming around. So these are flame-colored calla lilies. Um, such a beautiful color. I love the fact that it has a little bit of this burgundy in it and pulls kind of the maroon from the moms and the berries. Um, but it's just a really pretty flower. So we're gonna add these callas to this arrangement. All right, so after we get the callus in these two arrangements, the last thing to do yeah. is to add some seeded eucalyptus. And we're going to call them finished. I like these arrangements. These colors are so, I really think they're so interesting together. All right, now last, um, this is just going to be the finishing touch to these arrangements. I'm gonna add a little bit of seeded eucalyptus. So, um, the seeded eucalyptus is going to give us a little bit of a collar around the base of the arrangement. And what that's going to do is make sure Although it's hard to see that gold colored container, this is going to help me hide the, that container. So I'm gonna drop it down in a bucket and pull it out a little bit at a time. And I am just going to come all the way around this arrangement. and it's going to help me camouflage that container. I can even leave some a little long and kind of tuck it throughout the arrangement. Get 
give us some of that pretty, those pretty berries and some of that pretty color. Guys, thank you so much for being here with me this afternoon. If you have any questions, be sure to ask those down below in the comments. We are happy to answer any questions you might have. If you would do me a favor and subscribe to this channel, we would love that. And if you like videos like this, be sure to check us out over on Facebook. We go, we go live there daily every day. Guys, have a wonderful day and we'll see you real soon.